Hi, in this video, we'll take a look at some of the new features of security advisories. If you take a look at our last video, you can understand how to do an on-demand scan and also on how MRE engine maps the vulnerabilities with the network devices. In this video, we will take a look at how to do a scheduled scan, how to dismiss advisories and also on how to do scan based on config match. As you can see, I'm running Cisco DNA Center version 2.1.2. I'll now navigate to Tools, Security Advisories. As you can see, the look and feel of the UI has changed a bit. We have introduced a new vulnerability bar, which provides high-level details of the vulnerabilities identified by Cisco DNA Center. This bar also acts as a filter. When you click on a particular color, it filters out the vulnerabilities in the below table. We also have a new way of looking at the vulnerabilities. You can either look at all the vulnerabilities which are published on the Cisco PZ portal or only the vulnerabilities which are affecting the network devices. Let us now take a look at how to do a scheduled scan. Click on the scan network. Click on the later button. Provide the start date and time in which you would like to start your scheduled scan. Select the time zone from the drop down and finally select the recurrence or the frequency in which you would like to run your scan. It can be either daily or weekly. And finally set the scheduled end date for the scan. It can be an end date or it can be after a certain number of occurrences of the scan. For the simplicity of this video, I'll just select the option none and click on the schedule button. Once the on-demand scan or scheduled scan is complete, we could choose to suppress the advisory which are of least impact to our network. We can do that from the advisory focus view or the device focus view. From the advisory focus view, select the devices under the device column for a particular advisory. Select a particular network device and mark the device as suppressed. The suppressed devices can be viewed under the suppressed tab. Alternatively, this can be done from the device focus view. Navigate to the device focus and click on the advisories for a particular device. Filter for advisory, let's say with an impact of a medium. Click on apply. Once the filter is applied, we could select the advisory for a particular device and mark it as suppressed. The suppressed advisories can be viewed under suppressed tab. In future, if we would like to unsuppress this advisory, we could simply do that by selecting the advisory and clicking mark as active. This would move the advisory under the active advisories. Let us now take a look at how to do a scan based on config match. To do that, navigate to the advisory focus view. Click on add match pattern. Type in the match pattern or the configuration that needs to be scanned against a particular advisory. When Cisco DNA Center runs a scan, it would match the pattern against the running configuration on network devices. We will now go ahead and add a match pattern to understand how this functionality works. Type in the match pattern and click on save button. Once saved, we could now go ahead and click on scan network to do either an on-demand scan or a scheduled scan. For the simplicity of this video, we will do an on-demand scan and click on start button. Now the scan is in progress. The scan is now complete and we could no longer see the advisory under the affecting devices table. The reason being the pattern which we entered did not match any of the configuration on the running config list. And hence we have eliminated a false positive from the security advisories view on Cisco DNA Center. These are some of the new functionalities added to the security advisories on Cisco DNA Center release 2.1.2.x. Thanks for watching.